Within minutes of the shooting death of Ronnie Anderson, as police processed the scene in the new site area of Hattieville, shots rang out near the bus shed about 100 feet away from the police station. In the grass laid the body of Kenroy Danderson. The Hattieville resident was targeted by a gunman who, despite the proximity of the station, carried out the broad daylight execution. Around 10.20 a.m., police visited an area near the bus stop in Hattieville Village where they observed the emotionless body of Kenrick Danderson, 45 years, with gunshot injuries. Information received that he was in that area waiting for a bus when he was approached from across the street by a male person who fired several shots at him, causing the fatal injuries. Uh, again, investigation is ongoing into this matter. Danderson is no stranger to the law. He lived several blocks away from where he was killed. As the echo of the blasts rippled through the village, residents would run out to find him dead on the ground. By then, the shooter was long gone. Police say that at this time, it cannot be ascertained whether the murder of Danderson is related to that of Anderson, which took place minutes earlier in the new site area of the village. These murders 10 minutes apart, broad daylight in a small village, are they related? Uh, we are not sure if they are related at this time. Our investigation is ongoing at this time to determine if they are related. Along with Crime Stoppers Belize, rewards are being offered for information on the weekend murders, including that of Danderson's. Police say that there is ongoing rivalry in the village. Information suggests that one of the shootings is a result of a prior incident of gun violence in Hattieville. Is there a camera in the area, sir? Yes, there are cameras uh, in the area where the murder happened by the bus stop, and those are being reviewed at this time. Sir, do we have any possible motive that you're working with? Yes, we have several uh, leads and, and information that we are following up upon uh, for both uh, murders. Are you able to say if any of those leads um, are connected to drugs or gangs? We know that one of them is connected to a previous uh, incident, a previous shooting that had occurred in Hattieville. And then we are working to try and uh, determine uh, the motive for the second one. Several persons have been detained in connection with this murder. Dwayne Moody for News 5.